Hello, welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the second episode from Dead Like Me. I have watched the first one a few weeks back and it was a really interesting show. This is a Patreon request and I want to tell you before I start that you can also request your own TV show episode or movie or just a video. It's all possible on my Patreon and you can also see my full reaction to all the episodes on there. So check that out if you're interested. In the previous episode we saw that this girl died, <laughs> she became a Grim Reaper, and in the end she had to do a pretty fucked up thing. There was this little girl who was played by Jodel Verland, and um, she had to like take her soul. Which is, I mean, it has to happen, because if you don't do it, apparently the soul gets like spoiled or something like that. Um, but it was pretty fucked up because it was just a little girl traveling alone and um, the end really gave me chills like the way the girl kind of walked off to this sort of fun fair um, which I think for the person who dies is kind of like their their personal like heaven or whatever um, it's just a place they go to and, and yeah I don't know I mean it's a comedy show but the ending was pretty heavy so I'm going to react to a few more episodes of this starting with the second one obviously um, and I am very curious to see how this show progresses. Um, it's a really fun concept to me, so let's check it out. <laughs> this show, man. Oh, this is what it actually looks like, like they're all there. Or is this just a fun intro? <laughs> this show is so 2000s. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is the intro, but we didn't get that in the first episode, but I think that's a lot of times that you only get it from the second episode. Is George that's West. a fun intro, though. Been dead for seven days. Okay, that's a little dramatic. I'm actually undead. Pretty I'm dramatic, too. Memory. I can take the souls of people about to die, but I can't open my front door. I don't get paid a cent. I'm a and yeah. I had really messy. Kind of like his death. Yeah. <laughs> the banana. And went over the facts again and again. And then I was killed. Oh shit. I became a reaper. Lifting the souls I was told to take. It's fucking weird. <laughs> it's not our it job is. to drop the grave lens. We're getting a nice recap while we already had a recap. But this is the recap that's going on in her head. Maybe next week it'll make more sense. Is this ever gonna make sense? I take souls for a living. These are the days of my afterlife. Ugh. Oh, they did say something about the frogs, right? Are those the parents? Girlfriend? Yes. <gasps> that is so awkward. Actually, that's mine. That and the um TV. We gave him that TV. She just wanted to say, what if they gave it to him? Do you even know Brandon? I moved in the day we met. Before or after he died? Please say before. Same day. Huh. Please don't take the TV. What is it, Claire? This is difficult for me. It's about your daughter, Reggie. What about her? I just think what you're doing could be considered a form of abuse. Doing what? Why did you tell Claire that I don't let you go to the bathroom? Did you tell anyone else that I don't let you go to the bathroom? That is not very healthy, though. Oh. Jesus Christ, Reggie, I could be arrested for this. Is that what you want? So they let me use their bathroom? What is wrong with our bathroom? No. Oh, so she just doesn't want to go to their bathroom. Is there something up with the sister? A minute left, write the ticket, let's go. Let me do my job. Where do all the coins go anyway? It doesn't seem big enough. Pressurized vacuum tubes underneath the sidewalk. The meters drop off their reservoir every three or four hours. We dump back into the basement of the 7th Street parking office. Mm. Not fast enough. No, it's okay, I'm here. It's done, son. Oh. oh I, I mean, I'm right here. It's done. You saw me coming over here, you knew I was gonna put the change in. You need to step off, sir. Bruh, that is so unfair. Isn't that like a thing if you just have your car there and while you're paying you can't like get a ticket? Or is that only when you just parked? Maybe it's that, I think. 
wondering who's going to bend when you should just thank God for another day and leave it the... Take this ticket back. No. To say this as politely as possible, I will fuck you up. <laughs> but that is uh, like a pretty asshole thing to do. Me. The guy was on his way to pay. That is one funny police car. People say the Lord works in mysterious ways. Be it divine intervention or natural selection, everyone's got an appointment. I still can't wrap my mind around being time, dead and still having to work. But we do. What do you get? Why should I do it? Do you get anything? You get a coupon, Pina, from me. Coupon is redeemable for one favor. Coupons don't pay my rent. Beg pardon? Torture thinks it's her call whether people live or die, and until she straightens up and flies right, she's gonna have a chaperone. Today you're it, let's go. I mean, I think after the girl she learned, right? Why couldn't we have taken a cab? Do you have money for a taxi? Being dead is not fun. Thank you so much for stopping. Hop on in! I don't mean to piss all over this, but um, we are on the flirting edge of nowhere with 10 miles to go. And you're dead. What is he gonna do? Kill you? Don't you? Have any people I think you should get in the goddamn car. Is he gonna steal from the things now? Yeah. Not suspicious at all. <laughs> Isn't there gonna be an alarm? No. Everything for a bit of change. That's not the guy, right? Is it? Are you one of them Garson boys? I am. I know your daddy. I sure do. How is your mama? So nice of you to ask after like that. <laughs> Darling quilts I ever laid eyes on. Mama made quilts? <laughs> or is it maybe like like a brother of him or a child or a, just family? Betty liked being a reaper. It was painless for her. And I hated her for that. Happy thoughts. Oh, yeah. Still felt like an accomplice to murder. <laughs> it is him, okay. Maybe we should get out here. What would you be doing right now if you hadn't picked us up? Guess I'd be driving. Then I think that's what you should do. You have a wonderful evening. Ah, this is great when you had a car accident this week. Don't touch it. Wash your hands. It's gum. And it's been in somebody's mouth. Which... Germs are everywhere. Viruses. Ew. Toddy was just making it up to get the key, but... <laughs> Ew! Oh, that is sick. Isn't saliva biologically active? I used to think that soul food meant it came from Korea. You know, because Seoul is a city in Korea. <laughs> you want some? No, thank you. Get a job if you're hungry. Do you like fries? Yeah. Damn, being a Grim Reaper is no fun. How do you know it was her? So she's scared of toilet seats now? Or... <laughs> Went to three different Home Depots to buy toilet seats for Reggie's school. You'll never guess why. I only took one. Jason Murray and Steven Schultz took all the rest. And they said you're an effing liar. She even got the one in the teacher's lounge. No, I didn't. Reggie, go to your room. Damn, can't even finish her food tower. Child psychologist. She doesn't need therapy. <laughs> she needs something. I think she needs therapy. Start mass producing. Nothing does. And it's your job. Nice, tasty. Do you think it's pretty stupid to put me in this position? I could have a nervous breakdown. Oh, I'm very prone to anxiety attacks. Big deal. I don't think I'm supposed to be doing this. But I don't know anything about anything. Most of the time I'm talking out of my ass. You're learning. I'm gonna get some air. Can I help you? Say, aren't you one of them rock boys? Yep. Stood there staring at the soon to be dead man. I wonder how Mr. Waffle's gonna bite it. And then there were the monkeys in the works. Oh. Monkey C. Oh, those are the kids. Mm -hmm. So it was the kids, actually. How does that even stay on in the water? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fucking children. Ow. Okay. How are 
are you doing, dead guy? Reapers heal way too fast. Hmm. Ah, she got the TV, or is this another if I couldn't TV? Do it, they couldn't make me do it, could they? Is <coughs> that right? What is that? Maybe I can quit. Seven and two bits each, that includes two. <laughs> Not suspicious at all. So they do just all pay for their own food. That's why she never gets anything. I didn't sign anything, didn't agree to anything. Honestly, I would be very annoyed too. Like, I didn't ask for this, I just died. It's hard enough. Now I have to do all this shit. I convinced myself if I didn't touch it, I wasn't obligated. But if she doesn't take the soul, won't the person, like, suffer really bad when they die? What happens if somebody has an appointment with death and death doesn't show up? Yeah. <laughs> Is there a reprieve? Hmm. Uh, this all looks so disgusting. Or does death get penalized? Oh. Maybe someone was trying to send me a message. <laughs> Is that what she's doing? Go away! I have diarrhea! Do I have to go to therapy? No, I don't want to. Night. Don't think I've forgotten about the toilet seats. <laughs> I wonder like what's... an alternate universe where I didn't exist. What's happening to the person who was supposed to die now? I gotta pay rent. Yeah, I just wanted to say, how long will she be able to live there? Because at one point, they're gonna want to rent out the apartment again. And if she doesn't pay rent, indeed. But you would think they know the guy is dead, right? Yeah. Stimulation don't pay my rent. Then learn to live off the wild. It all sounded very glamorous. After all, oh. he drilled a hole in his head chasing a permanent high. So he died in 1966 already? Too bad. Got away from him. Damn, I didn't know he was like that long dead already. You can have this one if you carry it. Can I just take one of these? Take the light away. <gasps> oh, yeah, she's on to him. Rube wants to see you at the morgue. You're all relations? As fate would have it, J.P. Davis was going to die with or without me. Can we have a moment, please? Oh, of course. Oh, uh, you really fucked the dog, Peanut. He had an appointment. I didn't make an appointment. <laughs> Beater. It doesn't matter to me. The Mission accomplished. That was me correcting you. Oh. He's still in there, you silly bitch. God. Oh, yeah. That's what I meant. No, please. Holy shit. Is he in pain? Physically? No, he's dead. Mentally? But emotionally? Oh, emotionally. I imagine this sort of thing's pretty traumatic. Why didn't somebody do something? It's not somebody's job, it's yours. Yeah. <laughs> this is life and death. Oh, she's finally figuring that out? Fuck you! Life and death can be real simple. Cop the feel for this guy on spools. Yeah, that's what I meant, like... Then the soul is still gonna be in there, so he's kind of gonna. I didn't know he was still gonna like be in there when he died, but I thought like the death itself would just be like really painful or something. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! What happened to him? Thank you. Now say you're sorry. I'm sorry. No, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> I'll show you some very pretty lights. Lights? Said pretty, didn't he? Can't do this. You have to. I don't have to do shit. Just knowing that the other guy died in '66 makes this so fucked up to me. As in, then he's been doing this for years, and they said it would like take some amount of souls to take, and when you got the last one, you were gonna like move on. But if he's been doing this for so many years, heh. <laughs> Then maybe she's gonna be doing this for like 60 years as well. Or longer. You don't get to like anything anymore. Like I know it's a comedy show, but it all seems so depressing. Um, I had another visit from your daughter today. She took something. Reggie! Get your ass down 
down here right now. We'll get it back to you as soon as we find it. Any chance you might know when that would be? No. Okay. I stood there thinking about all the things I liked. This was different. Oh, she's sneaking out? What is she doing? Is she gonna have, like sacrifice all the toilet seats so they can never kill someone again? It was reassuring to finally find someone else who wanted to be bad. And it was horrifying to know it wasn't just what I do now. Jesus Christ. Did then. That is so nasty though. Toilet seats. I wasn't done not liking things. It's just the same done. woman. Mildred Hagen? Hi, I'm Dolores Herbig. Big brown eyes. Well, you must know a Herbiger too. Yeah, I think she made quilts or something. So I forged ahead. Please try to do better now and not get the same job as you used to. Can I call you Lily? Yeah, okay. Uh. It's hard to piss and moan about not having a purpose in life when death handed it to me on a platter. I wonder if she's ever gonna like talk to the sister in some way maybe? I mean because the sister is also doing the Ouija thing and all and I don't know. I feel like she really wants to talk to her and because she's a child she won't freak out that easily. Children are a bit easier with believing things as well. So I don't know I feel like maybe she will talk to her one time. Um, I don't really know what, what she wants to do with all the toilet seats in the tree. First I thought maybe it's like a, a memorial thing, but I don't know. But like the first thought I had when I heard that she was stealing toilet seats, I thought it was because she thinks toilet seats are really dangerous now. Because obviously the sister was killed with a toilet seat. So I thought she was just like she just wanted to rid the world of toilet seats. So toilet seats couldn't kill anyone anymore. But yeah, it, it's, it's a bit wild. I don't know exactly what she's doing. I thought she would just be like destroying them in the woods or something but they're hanging from trees so i have no idea what's going on there honestly this show is is kind of like i really like it but it's so different than i expected to be honest in the first episode you really saw that she was kind of living not like a really nice life she quit school she had to find a job then she got this job she really didn't like because the mom made her do that um and then she died and like of course that's not a good thing but I was like, okay, you really don't like this life. Now you can just go to heaven or whatever and just enjoy the rest of your life, you know? Or life, whatever, that, I don't know. <laughs> but now to see her end up in the end at the same office again, having to do probably the same shitty job. I mean, if she doesn't fuck up the job interview, maybe a little bit better job. But just being in the same place where she left off right now, but worse. Because she can't live with the parents anymore. She can't communicate with the parents and the sister. She has to like provide for herself without even having a stable job yet. Uh, she's living in this shitty ass apartment. Has to pay $650 for that apartment. I mean, that's what I paid in the big city too for my student room. But that was also just a room. I didn't even have a bathroom or kitchen or whatever. It was... Bad. but i don't know it's it's just like it's such a downgrade you know like you think that if you die you would at least like not that i believe in any of that in real life but like in the show i would think you could at least like move on have a nice afterlife you know but no you just have to work you have to pay rent and it's even harder because you can't speak to your family you can't ask your family for help you can't do anything and the thought of that makes it a bit depressing. Like I said, even though it's supposed to be like a comedy show, it's really depressing. And then like you also see the guy who's trying to make money off shady ways, like getting it from the parking meters and stuff like that. But I'm kind of like, if he's been doing this since 66, at least if I understood it correctly, um, then at this point you'd think that he'd find some kind of way to, to live, right? I think he did because like he's always paying for the food, even though he probably doesn't have a lot. He's also just living in the dead people's apartments, I think. And like he said, you gotta... I don't exactly know what he said, but it was something like, you gotta learn to live with just like... Kind of with the shady shit he's doing. Just like... Why, how did he say that? Off the grid? I don't know. But just, he gets money, but in all these kind of shady ways. And of course, he takes the money from the people who die and, and that sort of stuff. 
Um, I think out of everyone, Roxy is the one who kind of has everything the most together, you know, because she just has a stable job. Beside that, she just does the things she has to do as a Reaper. Um, I think she can just easily pay rent, she can pay for food, she can just pay everything. She kind of lives a normal life, I think. It's just she's doing the Reaper thing in the meantime, but that kind of sounds like a regular life then, I think. But I don't know, the whole way they have to live, it just, it feels so depressing. But I have to say, I think maybe I found this episode even more interesting than the first one. Because in the first one, it really, I, I noticed that it took me a while to get into it. Like I was instantly really interested by the story. But it was so hard for me to like understand what was, like I understood what was going on with all the, it was a lot. Like of course the first episode was a bit longer, so they had more time to like explain it all. But it was so, so much in like one hour and 20 minutes, I think. And after that, I was like, okay, shit, so that's going on. And I feel like now in this episode, we kind of got to see how it all works without explaining all these new things. So it was just kind of nice to just see how it goes, you know. I am very excited to continue the show. I really like it. It's sad that I don't have time anymore today to, to watch the, the next episode. Like I said before, if you want to request your own uh, episode reaction, check out my Patreon. The link's in the description. You can also watch my full reaction to this episode. And uh, if you liked it, then please leave a like, subscribe, and then I really hope to see you next time. Bye!